Starbucks has been hush-hush recently about their plus energy option you may or may not have already heard of. In fact, myself being one of the key caffeine fee targets being marketed to, I can't say I was a little surprised they were knocking at my door trying to get me to buy the add-ins. Well, what do you know? This morning, 6 and I opened my door to find a set of Starbucks newest night in shining armor. Starbucks Devil Shot Energy Plus Coffee. Starbucks Double Shot Energy Plus Coffee 21st Century Milk Man? What a way to start the morning. Lovely day by Bill Withers instantly popped into my head. Childhood memories of Folgers commercials burning in mind, and a realization that the former concept of having a milk man deliver milk every morning comes nowhere close to fresh delivered cans of extra caffeinated coffee. Asterisk crack asterisk goes the tab. Pressure furiously releasing from the energy standard 50 Oz. Can condensation dripping down the side. Is this all just a dream? Starbucks with its Robert Barron style can't possible create something that gets me excited again, can it? Snap out of it. There's no holding back now. Swish gulp and down the hatch. That's what we call variety. The three flavors so far are vanilla, coffee, and mocha. All three have similar yet distinct flavors despite me being somewhat unconfident if I were to be given a blind taste test. One thing I will tell you is that the coffee flavor tends to taste the least sugary as well as being the only one to actually resemble coffee. Mocha has a light aftertaste of coffee but it tastes more like a single pump of coffee syrup was added to a Yuvu chocolate drink. The vanilla comes in second to the coffee and my guess is it's supposed to capture the white chocolate mocha lovers out there. Not the serious coffee drinkers. All three flavors had a mild but present bitterness that was only sometimes noticeable. I figure this is due to ginseng and guarana. Other than that I was actually quite surprised by the taste of these drinks. I'd be hard pressed to tell much of a difference between the pre-existing bottled coffees sold by Starbucks and these new ones, except for one minor detail. Even coffee needs a pick-me-up. The ingredients on these cans are nothing short of amazing. For a coffee at least. Per 15 FL Oz, there is 1800 of taurine, 415 of L-carnitine, 180 of inositol, also known as bait, 325 of ginseng, and 90 of guarana. In fact, that list is quite good for any energy drink. Oftentimes, the amount of ginseng is negligible in guarana, which works better than caffeine and hydrous is forgotten. This drink spared neither. Starbucks Dumb Shot Energy Plus Coffee is a winner. Sometimes companies just get things right. And Starbucks has certainly achieved something in my mind. One thing that amused me was Starbucks marketing techniques claiming, wake up with Starbucks Dumb Shot, stay up with new Starbucks Dumb Shot Energy Plus Coffee. I try Dumb Shots for the morning and honestly I get more of a buzz off of water. Dumb Shot Energy Plus Coffee is up more in the level I need for the morning. Not too much caffeine. And not only caffeine is the main ingredient. If you don't have time to wait in line for a handmade drink, or to home for your own coffee. Keep your eye out for this Dell Shot Energy Trio in local Starbucks stores, 7-Eleven, and grocery stores this June. MSRP is USD $2.59 per can and they come as singles, 4 packs, and 12 packs. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.